Hey, que pasa guys? Um, this is a video review on the Transformers Generation uh, Cybertronian Soundwave. It's quite the mouthful there. Um, well, what can I say about this guy? Um, I saw him a couple months ago on uh, TFW 2005. It's a pretty popular Transformers website. Um, and uh, he was just showing up in like Toy Fair uh, pictures and videos and I was like wow that is an awesome looking sound wave you know um, we haven't gotten that many uh, sound wave figures at least not legit uh, um, G1-esque looking ones uh, we have the Transformers animated one but you know that that's kind of a mixed bag um, so yeah, when I saw this one, I was just like, wow, uh, I love the, the car mode, I love this mode, um, the, the robot mode's even cooler, um, it just, it's, it's a very appealing figure, um, you know, the, uh, the detail on this, uh, figure is pretty nice, um, you know, it's uh, it's it's pretty standard. Um, it's on par with uh, with uh, Cybertron, uh, Optimus, and uh, Bumblebee. Um, as you can see, he has kind of a, this kind of like claw type uh, front uh, to his vehicle mode, which is really neat. And he has uh, weapons on each side here, which um, you know. Yes, they are also the weapons that you put on his uh, shoulder, and this is his uh, gun, which I'll get to eventually. Um, one cool gimmick that um, you can do in both car mode and Cybertron mode is um, open up this uh, part right here, which, um, there you go, it just goes down like that. Um, and you can put his weapons in there. Uh, why we transform them? Kind of a silly uh, idea, but you know that's what the instructions says. And you know you should always follow the instructions, or so says the wise people. Um, so that's pretty neat. You know, you just store it in there. Um, and it looks like a shockwave's trapped in there. Lord Megatron, I'm trapped in Soundwave. And um, yeah, so car mode, very cool. Um, paint apps on on the car mode they're pretty they're pretty clean um, rolls pretty good so uh, yeah nice detail on the car so let me transform this bad boy for you so to transform Soundwave um, actually he's not really that difficult to transform which I I was pretty happy about um, he did come packaged in robot mode so um, your job is pretty much done for you if you're just the type that keeps him in robot mode but it's really fun to transform him into his vehicle mode I usually start with the hood here the top um, you just kind of unhook it like this and kind of keep it up like that um, these are uh, his feet as you can tell so then what you do next is uh, you see the wheels right here you just kind of unhinge this part right here and then pull it out same both sides just pull this out and this makes his uh, his legs more or less and his uh, yeah so um, now you see the front here front is pretty it's a it gets tricky if if you're doing this for the first time um, put this these uh, these claw things down and then um, this tab right here should open up there you go and do the same with this and ooh, look there's Soundwave's face nice and um, th and then you see the wheels back here um, these will 
uh, go down like so. But don't pull pull them all the way down because we need to uh, attach his waist area. So uh, the waist is very simple. It's just a, it's kind of like one of those um, swervy uh, hinges. You just uh, pull it forward until you hear a click. Then push the bottom part backwards until you hear a click, and you're good. And now the wheels, um, you just there you go. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Just push them back. And then um, sound wave. And then his arm right here. Just uh, there you go. Just spread that out. Tab right here. Just put it in the back there. Uh, do the same with this side. Not that difficult. There you go. Sound wave. Um, the feet. All right. The feet are uh, they're interesting. So um, when you transform him. Uh, back to robot mode, you have to uh, turn his feet uh, towards the robot, obviously. And then you see the spring loaded um, mechanism here. There is a small uh, socket that you just have to push it into, and I just took his foot off. Um, be careful with that. <laughs> um, and just do the same here. There's a small socket, and uh, yeah, don't break his foot. And uh, you're pretty much golden there. It's a pretty simplistic uh, transformation. Uh, you know, just make sure everything's good there. Um, his hands, just pop his hands out. Bam, like that. And like, uh, there you go. And then you can have him in a uh, more of a fist like position. There you go. And um, yeah, there, you're good. Um, you can open up his chest, take out the goods. Um, and uh, here you have uh, Cybertronian Soundwave. Um, the detail overall on his face, and uh, you know, just the extra stuff that, uh, that uh, we don't see in uh, his vehicle mode. It's fairly nice, uh, very nice sculpt. Um, you know, I really like the sound wave face sculpt. And, uh, you know, it, it, he does feel a bit plain in uh, in the sense that uh, they could have add, added more paint uh, details or some sort of, you know, metallic type paint. Because um, that's how he looked very, uh, he looked like that in the game, the War for Cybertron game. Um, he had this very steely look, not steely Dan, but steely like, you know, um, he just looked very mechanical, which I really liked. Um, let me get, pull this out here. So, you know, he, he's still really awesome looking. Um, one thing to watch out for, he has very loose joints uh, in his leg area, like this here. It's just, um, his feet are extremely loose. Uh, that's just something that you can't really find out uh, until you've opened the figure. Uh, besides that, uh, he's just a really, really nice uh, Soundwave figure. And once again, I'm glad that they've made uh, Soundwave again uh, because it's been a while. You know, uh, I, I think the last Soundwave, good Soundwave, we, we've gotten released uh, was the 25th uh, anniversary uh, G1 Soundwave, you know, and, and that's uh, that's really something that um, is not a new figure, it's an old re reissue figure, so I think this guy will sell fairly well um, once he reaches the stores. I got him off of Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, you can probably find him at ToysRUs.com now. I know Cybertronian and Megatron uh, can be found, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about Soundwave, but he's cool. He's pretty awesome. Quick size comparison here with uh, Optimus. He's a uh, he's a smidget taller than Optimus, um, but then again, Optimus is a pretty tiny figure. Uh, head size, they are actually about the same height. So what makes uh, uh, Soundwave taller are his uh, his uh, arm guard things that he has, which uh, 
you know, kind of gives him more of a menacing look anyway, so it's cool. Um, so, you know, these, these guys are pretty small figures. They're about five and a half uh, inches, some about six inches, but yeah, they're, they're your normal classic size. Um, I did find the animated Transformers figures to be slightly bigger, uh, especially characters like Lockdown and uh, uh, Rodimus uh, Minor, which I will be doing a review of because I absolutely love that figure. Um, he's slightly just he's a much more bigger figure you know like these guys have really small heads <laughs> like like optimus you know he's like he's like a little baby and uh soundwave's head is it's okay it's it's all right but um yeah so let me uh show you uh the comparison with um with the uh reissue soundwave from the generation one series and you can see it's a uh, much more uh, um, difference in, in the height and uh, you know but not that much and you can tell how uh, how far we we've, we've gotten with uh, Hasbro with their uh, Transformers figures even though this is a reissue but you look at this guy and then you look at uh, Cybertronian Soundwave and you know uh, 25 years does make a big difference <laughs> 26 now um, you know so overall I recommend buying this guy oops um, he's a uh, he's a pretty swell figure he's not a hundred percent perfect um, you know he's very loose much like most of the generations figures um, the only one I haven't had problems with is Megatron um, but yeah, overall, Soundwave is a pretty neat figure. Uh, his alt mode is very nice. I know there's some unofficial transformation to like make him a Cybertronian boombox, but you know, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I, it just doesn't really seem that uh, that neat to me. Um, but uh, you know, Sean X Long, he ha he's done a video of. Uh, of Soundwave and he does transform him into the uh, into the fan alt mode so you can check it out there and uh, Pia he he's pretty popular around Transformer fans um, you can check out his review as well if you want to see more details and stuff I haven't said um, so yeah guys uh, pick this guy up he's neat and um, make sure or be sure to uh, stick around because I will have a few more Transformers reviews coming up and uh, don't forget to comment and subscribe and, you know, all that jazz. And, okay, guys, adios.